here's the, the part where we pray that it's not broken. Talk, shop, pop, movies. Ahoy there, this is Derek, the Convicted Cinephile. And if you're a convicted cinephile yourself, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit all the bells and the buttons and such. And on this channel, I like to talk, shop, and pop, open that is, movies and physical media. Today, I'm going to do something a little different, but it has something to do with movies and other things I enjoy. Um, the one thing I collect outside of movies is beer glasses. I'm going to be showing those off today. Uh, I don't have like an absurd amount. It's maybe like 15-ish. I don't even know. I don't have them in front of me. Um, but then I'm going to end it all off with an unboxing of my latest glass that hopefully is not broken. I've been lucky so far, so I'm not too worried. So I'll probably go by brand. Uh, so I'll just go from the least amount of glasses to the most amount of glasses. So here we go. Okay, so the first one I have is actually not from a specialty glass site. It is from a website called Fright Rags, which is where I buy these glorious t-shirts from. And I had to get this because I thought it was hilarious, and I bought a matching shirt the same day. It is a Silver Shamrock Novelties pint glass. You know, it's nothing amazing, but I love Halloween 3, and I got the matching shirt to go with it. Probably should have worn it, but I think I wore it yesterday. So yeah, nothing too spectacular on this one, but I just love me some Halloween 3. Next one is from a site called Hop Fiction. And I should warn you that basically all of these glasses I'm going to show you are more likely than not no longer available because they are made in very limited quantities. But this one, honestly, no offense to the other glass makers whom I love, might be my favorite glass I own because it's one of my favorite movies of all time. It's an Evil Dead, as you can see there, from Evil Dead 2. There we, there we go. Pretty cool. See the cabin on there and Ash. Henrietta. And on the bottom, when you're done drinking, you can see uh, her pretty face down there, which is actually from the first movie. So it's actually like an Evil Dead 1 and 2 glass, which is probably why I like it so much. So that is my Hop Fiction glass. It's, as of right now, the only one I have from them. You'll see that most of my glasses are all either movie related or like South Park or Simpsons related. So those are things I love. This one, it's a little Christmas glass. This is from Sloppy Joe Glassware. These next four, including this one, are from there. So you got a little Mr. Hanky floating in a beer but he's made of hops, so he's Mr. Hoppy. That's got a kind of a cool red coloring in the bottom. I haven't actually used this glass yet, I don't think. I just got it recently. This is one that I showed off in my little questionnaire if I should do this video or not. This is my Wayne's World glass. Excited to buy this new Blu-ray double pack this Tuesday. Anyways, <laughs> it has a list of their top 10 hops here. It's got the Schwing pose on the side there. And on this side, you got the Mary Tyler Moore beer assembly line shot, which is very fitting for a beer glass. So that one is also brand new. I got it the same day as the Mr. Hinky one. They designed this glass months before this movie, I think, was even officially made. But it's like a No Way Home glass. You got the Toby Spidey, Tom Holland Spidey, and Andrew Spidey right there. So it's an unofficial No Way Home glass. And this one is a special one I got when the wonderfully hilarious Norm MacDonald passed away. And they got Chris Farley there too, so another one of my favorite people ever. When Norm passed away, they made this glass for cancer um, research. It was a donation glass, so you got images from Dirty Work. Him on Celebrity Jeopardy from SNL with Will Ferrell. And then him doing the Weekend Update. So it's a Norm MacDonald charity glass. This one is no longer available, I believe. But all the profits for this one went towards cancer research, I believe. So that's pretty damn cool. I could not get that one, especially for what it was for. So all the glasses here on out are going to be 
from poppopglass.com. Most, if not all of these are already sold out and they often sell out within an hour or two. So these three I'm gonna show you are more like wine glass size. At least that's what I use them for. This is a, the Dignity Glass from Simpsons. You can kind of see Millhouse's father, Kirk Van Houten, and his cool race car bed made of hops. And on the other side is his god-awful drawing of Dignity. Which is kind of hard to see on video here, but there we go. You can't see it. So, I had to get that one. I'm a diehard Simpsons fan. Yep, yeah, this was, uh, I think, like the second glass I bought from them. This gorgeous Silence of the Lambs glass. They were originally going to only have, like, this piece of artwork on it, I think. And then they were like, oh, we're going to beef this thing up a bit. And then they displayed this artwork and uh, yeah this is one of them that I believe sold out within two or three hours so that's why you gotta be careful and not break these but I love it I love this movie one of my favorite movies I just wish this glass were a little bigger I'd use it more often <laughs> but it is kind of my unofficial wine glass and a Scorsese glass next here this is another one that sold out damn near instantly Travis Bickle taxi driver glass awesome images here. These just look great. They've sold glasses with like defects on them for substantial discounts and even those look good. I'll show you one that I have next year but yep there's my taxi driver glass. Cool. Cool as hell. All right so I got another South Park glass here. This is the Hoppity Hop Grandy March glass. So, any South Park fans remember this episode where he tried to give himself testicular cancer and this was his scrotum and testicles down here replaced with giant hops. And then he hops along the glass. Hilarious. I love Randy. He's the best character. So that is that one. This is the first glass I actually bought from them. Mos Eisley metropolis c-3po glass i love this artwork this one was for sale for a long time considering the limited quantity of it and i love this artwork apparently i was the only one who thought so because this one stayed on the market for quite a while this is the other one i bought on my very first order you got tom and scratchy shaking hands working together to brutally murder itchy and Jerry. So this was a fun one. They actually made an even more rare glass of this where it actually shows them getting cut in half. And if you were to order this glass, like 25 out of 100 people would just randomly get that one. I was not one of the lucky ones, but I love this glass too. Like I said, anything Simpsons related, I'll probably buy. On that note, <laughs> another Simpsons movie mashup. This is an Alfred Hitchcock glass. So you got Lisa kind of freaking out from these hops flying at her. Kind of reminds me of the birds. And then this awesome Principal Skinner psycho side here where you got his mother as the skeleton in the chair and the stuffed birds up here. So this is the only glass of this type I have actually, of this shape. I like this one a lot. It's very hefty. Unlike the other smaller glasses I just showed you, those are very fragile, so I almost am scared to use them half the time. All right, the next four of these are all the same can-shaped style glass, and they're all Simpsons related. Because, like I said, I love me some Simpsons. This is the defective one I was telling you about. So, it's the, Mis the Burns Baby Burns, I believe, is the name of this glass. So, it has all these different incarnations of Mr. Burns. And this is a lower resolution sticker, <laughs> which is kind of hard to gauge on the video, I'm sure. But I think it looks pretty damn good. This glass was like less than half price because of the defect. And I couldn't be more happy with it, honestly. So yeah, you got Alien Mr. Burns, Birthday Cake Mr. Burns, See My Vest Mr. Burns, Little Baby Mr. Burns with his uh, teddy bear Bobo. Yeah, I like it. This is the one where Homer ate the uh, Guatemalan Insanity Pepper. So this is just a mirror image 
of when he's tripping out in the desert. This one's funny. This one's cool. It's a Christmas movie Simpsons mashup. So you got Sideshow Bob and Jimbo as Harry and Marv from Home Alone. You got Barney as I believe Ebenezer Scrooge here. You got Buzz's girlfriend on the picture back there. That's hilarious. You got Rainier Wolfcastle as Turbo Man. Homer as John McClane. Flanders as Buddy the Elf. The Love Tester Machine, which is just funny. You got Millhouse as uh, Ralphie. And of course, Mr. Burns as the Grinch. How fitting. And then you got Ooter and Moe as the bad Santa crew. And then the leg lamp here I missed out on. So all these famous Christmas movies with Simpsons characters. Instead. I like that. I thought that was funny. And this one is just called Springfield. And it's got damn near every character ever on the Simpsons on here. I forget exactly how many. But there's upwards of like 160 characters on this glass. Yeah. It's awesome. It's a fun thing to look at and just kind of keep poking out. Oh, here's this person. Here's this person. So you got Itchy and Scratchy on there. You got Hans Molman. You got the head of Jebediah Springfield. Just everybody. So if you know me, you know that I am a diehard Coen Brothers fan. And this is one of my all-time favorite movies. Fargo. This is my Fargo glass. So you got him cramming the hop into the wood chipper. And I'm from Minnesota, like they are, so. Paul Bunyan, we got Paul Bunyan land up here, which is kind of sad and depressing as an adult. But yeah, Fargo, you know, depending on the mood I'm in, it's like my favorite movie of all time. That and No Country for Old Men. Time to unbox a thing, see? This is what I mean by pop, we're popping open. Not pop figures. A you know, giant knife to cut this tiny cardboard box open. I'm sure I have an actual box opener somewhere. But here's the, the part where we pray that it's not broken. Like I said, I've been lucky every time. I've seen pictures of people and they arrive broken. But they're always awesome about replacing them. They always make extra glasses if that does happen. So if something does get broken, you just tell them and they will replace it. Oh yeah, I forgot what style of glass this one was, and it is a kind I prefer. So each one that you order comes with a numbered card. So as you can see, this one's number 59 of a, out of 144. And I know they made it in a different size glass too, so there's probably 144 of this and a similar number of the shorter glass. And this glass is called Dude. They all have you know, logical names once you see the glasses. And I finished on the Fargo one because this too is a Coen Brothers classic. The Big Lebowski, the dude, at the bar, drinking beers with Walter and Donnie and the cowboy drifter, Sam Elliott. This one was too great not to get. Too fitting of a beer glass. It's always nice when they're actually in a setting where they are drinking beer in the movie. So this is my newest one here. Dude, the Big Lebowski glass. Once again, this last bunch, and by bunch I mean like dozen or so, are all from poppopglass.com. This one might still be available. I got it on pre-order. I'm not going to guarantee it by the time this video goes up. But these are my beer glasses. This is my number two addiction. So that's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please give these websites a visit if you like beer glasses or whatever you want to put in them. They're just drinking glasses. You don't have to drink beer out of them. I drink wine out of the smaller ones. I drink beer out of the bigger ones. You can put water in them if you want, as long as you love the artwork and the movies and The Simpsons and the other TV shows they make things out of. There's Dexter glasses, there's Breaking Bad glasses. It's just a matter of getting there in time before they sell out. And uh, they range between $10 and usually $25 per glass. And they are worth it, I would say. Please give them a visit and I'll see you next time. Talk. Shop.
pop movies.